Hey, what's up Fortnite family? I'm Matt, and it may have been a while, but I'm back once again to break down the new Fortnite patch. Patch 13.30 has finally arrived, and with it there are a bunch of new things for you to learn about, ranging from an extraterrestrial spaceship to a whole host of skins buried in the files that we're going to uncover. But as always, let's start with the limited patch notes that Epic Games has sent out to all of its creators. Summer Splash will of course be continuing through patch 13.30, and with the update there is a whole bunch of returning LTMs that are entering the Summer Splash rotation. This week we're going to have Payback, Catch and One Shot. The season, uh, I see what you did there Epic, is going to continue to evolve with the water across the map receding and revealing familiar locations, as well as something new which is apparently set to surface with its own set of challenges. On the subject of challenges, Fortnite is trying to force you to play with your friends, as they're adding a bunch of team-based challenges that anyone in your squad can contribute to. That means if you're bad at the game and the challenge is to eliminate players with sniper headshots, you can just let your friends deal with the hard parts and rake in all the rewards for yourself. And if you don't have friends, you're kind of out of luck. If you've been enjoying building your own Brella, you'll be excited to note that the final challenge for the Builder Brella will be available this week, so remember to lock in your perfect style. The mobile HUD layout tool has undergone a bit of a revamp, and the new changes can be accessed through the menu. Epic have also reminded us in the notes that all of the Aquaman challenges are now available in-game, which means that you can grab all of his rewards, including the bonus Arthur Curry style, by completing them. Though, of course, to have access to these challenges, you do need to buy the Battle Pass first. Last, but certainly not least, it would seem that cars are going to be drivable soon. You'll see fewer cars on the island itself, because according to Epic Games, No Sweat Insurance has issued a recall on cars as they look into auto coverage, which implies that they'll be around shortly. That's it for everything Epic Games have given us themselves, but as always with the Fortnite files, once a new update drops, data miners are ready and waiting to uncover everything. So here are all the new skins and other leaks that we've managed to find in the files this time. For skins, we've got the Sizzle, Sandshark Driver, Wave Ripper, Barracuda, Shore Leave, Dummy, Party MVP, Party Diva, Party Star, Summer Fable, Tropical Punch Zoe, and Unpeely, which is a skin I never want to see again. It's horrifying. For Black Blings, we've got the Tube Top, the Chair, the Rocky, Dive Hazard, Tidal Hazard, Vanilla Whip, Dune Tripper, Wrong Turn, Banana Cabana, Trapper Back, and the Sour Swirl. For the Harvesting Tools, there's the Iron Claws, Noggin, Sawtooth Slashers, Tri Hook, and the Nomax. From the Gun Wraps, we have the Crash Test and the Lemon Zest. We've known about the new Galaxy Pack for a while now, but there are finally some assets in game that we can have a look at. There's the Star Scout Wrap, the Galaxy Scout Skin, the Nucleus Back Bling, the Celestia Glider, and the Stardust Strikers Harvesting Tool. If you're looking to put some new style into some older skins, then you probably already know that there are some awesome new variants in the games. Yellow Jacket has a black variant, as does the Backstabber Stealth Stinger and Venom Blade, Bash, the Llamacorn Shield, and the Razor Smash all also have dark variants. Some of the coolest leaks from the game files this time round have absolutely nothing to do with the skins though. Instead, they come in the form of a strange new spaceship, which supposedly will be crash landing on the Fortnite island sometime in the future with these strange new alien henchmen inside of it. We don't know much about the ship yet, but it does have something to do with a quest, and you can actually see part of it in the Chapter 2 Season 3 loading screen. The quests for the Ancient Astronaut are as follows. You have to find the ancient ship, collect the missing part, install the missing part, begin the launch sequence, and then stop the ship from launching. We're not sure why you would want to start the ship's launch and then immediately stop it right after, but this new questline does sound pretty cool. Speaking of things that are cool, a new trap has had some code added to the game files. Its code name is Frosted Tips, and will do 50 damage to an opponent. Who knows what other effects this seemingly chilling trap will have. Some new golden assets have also been added to the game. We aren't sure where they are on the map or if they've even been added yet, but if this golden workout equipment is anything to go by, Midas is still alive and building up strength for a triumphant return. Due to the patch notes, a lot of people thought cars were going to be added to the game already. It might be a situation similar to the flare gun and the cars may be added into the game by the time this video goes up, but at the moment they're just not there. What we do know is, if you hit a player while you're driving a car, they're going to be bounced away from you, and if you hit them too hard, you will be bounced out of the car as well. 
When a car explodes, they will do 200 damage up close and 50 from further away. You'll need to fill up any vehicle with petrol, and to do that, you'll need to use a jerry can. You can still shoot while holding one of these cans, but if it gets shot and explodes, it will do 99 damage to players and 250 damage to vehicles. Supposedly, there are some challenges that are meant to go live for cars this Thursday, so you would sort of expect them to be in the game before then. Either way, thanks for watching this Pro Guides video. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and click that all important bell button so that you get a notification whenever we upload a new video. And hey, I'll see you guys in the next update.